Fast game, a lot of transition. We created a lot of chances, but in moments when we needed to be more precise and find smart ways to slow the game down, take time to make sure that you get a play right. Uh, we weren't good enough in those ways. Um, and then it's never good to give up three goals, uh, some crazy goals. Uh, yeah, it's a different kind of game. They, they play off of second balls. They play off of flicks. Uh, so the game is going to end up being uh, up and down in those ways. And I think we handled a lot of that part quite well. Uh, many good reactions to deal with. Uh, say a header that gets flicked on, and now you got to deal with the next part of the play. Uh, I think we did a pretty good job dealing with second balls. And those are items that you, you know are going to be important against uh, the union. Um, so a weird early season game, different than other games we've had. Uh, and the disappointing part is giving up three goals. Bob. Yes, Vince. Uh, Brian, Brian Rodriguez, he obviously has a, a moment towards the end of the game. He's young, and he's obviously very talented. I, I'm just wondering, how, does you, how do you and your staff talk to him in these moments, and what, what kind of things do you tell him to keep him pointing in the right direction? Yeah, he's making progress, but now he needs a play, and he's frustrated, and, uh, and so you encourage him, and you keep making sure that he understands that by doing the little things right, getting in the right spots, that uh, it's going to happen for him. But we all we all felt bad because uh, uh, right now he just uh, it feels like he's got the weight of the world on his shoulders, and he can't make a play that matters. Bob, uh, most teams come in here playing defense and expecting to counter. Philadelphia did not do that. Did that throw you off? Did that throw the t your team off at all? Um, no, I, I talked uh, before uh, earlier in the week or with our players. This is a Red Bull team, okay? Ernst Tanner is a Red Bull person. Red Bull teams only play one way, okay? They play the ball forward. Uh, they don't try to play from the back, so your ability to press them is it can only be in counter presses. Um, then they're gonna try to flick balls and run and the whole bit. I, I still think we handled those things well. We created a lot of chances. Um, so the the kind of game was exactly what we expected. Why are you on the ground today? because we were filming something. Oh, OK. Get back there. All right. You can move again if you want. <laughs> it's OK. All right. Uh, in terms of like the rhythm of the game and, and the, the way it was like continuously stopping, did that kind of like throw you guys off a little bit? Or you felt no, like this is, I'm going to say it again. This is a Red Bull game. <laughs> All right. Watch Red Bull Leipzig. Watch Red Bull Salzburg, you know? Um, did you see Red Bull Salzburg in uh, Liverpool in Champions League this year? All right, when Jesse made the speech that went viral at halftime. All right, so this is what happens in these games. You can talk all you want about, no, let's just, no. Listen, these games are going to go fast. And you have to be able to go fast in the game. You have to be able to deal with uh, the second balls. Uh, the only thing is, I think, then in key moments, uh, then that ability to just slow down when you're deciding, am I dribbling? which pass to make. Uh, the really good play uh, where Diego got around the box in the second half and slowed down and slipped a really nice little ball to Carlos on the move. And Carlos had the chance that Blake saved with his foot. And then it bounced back out to Latif. And Latif nailed one. And I think it hit uh, Andre in the face. Uh, that was the kind of moment where you could see that in, in, in that key moment, Diego knew exactly what he wanted to do. And, and so, look, the rest of the game is what it is. Like I said, go back and watch uh, Red Bull Salzburg and Liverpool, and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, from the beginning, we've talked about 
wanting to do well, testing ourselves against good teams. Uh, the second leg against Leon was a special night. This time we start at home. Uh, Cruz at Zool, amazing history. And so uh, looking forward to it. Uh, Bob, tonight, back here. tonight you started what one would typically assess as your top lineup. With uh, Cruz Azul coming in uh, four days, how much rotation do you expect to have between this match and the next? And if it's similar, what are the things that you would like to see the team collectively improve between this match and the next? Uh, I think we discussed uh, in the scrum the other day that we felt that Sunday night to Thursday was still fair enough. So nothing has changed since uh, I walked everybody through that a, a few days ago. Uh, tonight's game, we did uh, make the substitutions uh, with some thought because the game tonight was asking a lot of players and was asking a lot of players, so that part was fine. You know, when you talk about what do we work on, we work on getting better. We work on taking the things that, that we think we are about as a team and doing them well. So what would that mean tonight? That would mean that in the first half, there were probably times where uh, Edward takes too many touches. And they're, they're coming around them so fast. And he's got to be able, under incredible pressure, to see things a little quicker and play a little simpler. Um, we work on that with all our midfielders. Um, I would say the same for Mark. Uh, you know, you have a, a young player like Brian. Vince asked about him. Uh, Brian is still a player that, when I'm talking about how Diego shifted down and in the right moment knew exactly what he wanted to do, we're trying to get Brian to shift down sometimes. Brian has no problem at all going fast. And he goes fast and he hits balls hard. But that little bit of calmness and that little bit of savvy sometimes to be able to realize that by slowing down, Maybe a window to slip a pass is going to develop. Or maybe then you have a little time to assess the position of the keeper and know how you want to finish a play. So look, these are football things that it's not like they get worked on for one game, like, like they fit a certain opponent. Those are things that you work on every week. You try to create the best training sessions you can and, uh, and, and help the players see the little things that they can do to uh, improve. So that's where we are. Any last questions? Another one. Yes, you get two. <laughs> no, that's OK. Sorry if I missed it uh, in the beginning. But what does, uh, can you just speak on the tenacity, the offensive tenacity of the team to go down and come back three separate times? Uh, did that impress you, despite the fact that they gave up those chances to uh, the union to begin with? Uh, look, I think we're a team that tries to find ways to create chances. And, and certainly tonight, there was no problem creating chances. We created good chances. Uh, they come in different ways. That's a little bit of a feature of our team. We, we, we think that we have a lot of different attacking talents, that as a team, we have good overall attacking ideas. And, and then we're trying always to, to be as sharp and precise as we can to, to make the most of them. So. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not surprised because I think that's what we're all about.